All right, so as far as who I'm gonna bring, I really feel like we should bring Garrus. Oh, look, we can give him a new skin too. Oh, it looks cool. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna roll with that. So Garrus and um, let's bring, let's bring Miranda again. Just cause she seems savvy. Oh, I've got two points to spend, look at that. Combat drone, tech mastery. I guess this just improves everything you have. Honestly, not sure. Combat drone kind of sucks though, so we should probably level him up and see if we can make him a little better. <laughs> and they're good. Cool. Receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me. <laughs> yeah, that worked out better than expected, huh? Oh, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, the reason I wanted to bring Garrus was because I thought it might be interesting if he ends up running into people that he knows down here or uh, just somebody that has beef with him, you know? Like, I just thought it might open up some story opportunities. But, who knows? If everybody thinks he's dead, then maybe that won't be the case. Apparently, um, the thing I looked at when I came by here last time was supposed to be a crew member conversation, and I guess it bugged out, which is really unfortunate, because I'd really like to hear those. Buggy-ass video games, you guys know what I'm saying? Um, let's stop up here in Afterlife. Because we got some kind of side quest related to Arya. We gotta give her like a data pad or something like that. So since we're right here, we will stop off and talk to her. Who is Anto? Where am I seeing that? Arya Talok. Oh, this is Anto. What do you need? Uh, we've already talked about Morden. We've talked about all that. All right, let's just tell her about the data pad. This data pad was on one of the mercs going after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information <laughs> slipped the net? I I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. Uh, yeah, happy to be a service. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You do that. Okay, got uh, 40 experience points for that. Arya has work for you. Here. Huh? Uh, Arya has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? Why didn't she tell me herself just now? That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers. A Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. Okay, let's get into the nitty-gritty of this. What exactly is going on? What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories. Especially when he dips into non-fiction. Stories, huh? What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Sounds like he's got some disfigurement going on, maybe? Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle nut up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? If Arya wants my help, she better tell me why. I'm not doing this for my health. Fine. Whatever gets you to take the job. If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on her payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. Uh, sure, why not? I'll look into it. Good. 
Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done. You'll get your due. Okay. I'll be back when the job's done. Good luck. Find the Patriarch in one of the side rooms downstairs at Afterlife and tell him he needs to hide. Cool. I don't know how much I love the idea of working for Arya, but I'm pretty much down to do, like, almost any quest in this game. Private room is locked. Especially ones involving Krogans, because I just love them as a race. I'm trying to think. Oh, there's a door over here. Was this locked before? This may have been locked before. Apex Omni Tools? Yeah, I don't think I could get in here before. Glad the noise went down a notch there. Also, you guys notice, like, how good the voice acting direction is in this game? The conversation I just had with Grizz there, and they were both, like, talking, like, really loud, like, at the top of their lungs, right? Because they're in a really loud and noisy club. There's a lot of games that wouldn't think to direct their voice actors that way. But this game does. Rack nice ships. Okay, is this still afterlife down here? Oh. Okay, that answers that question. <laughs> There's a whole other section to this place. Patron dance? Let's dance with a patron. Yeah, what up, girl? Get your groove on. Damn, she's got some moves, though. Putting me to shame. I'm dancing like a bro, not really moving my hands, just kind of gyrating your body, you know? A bro never dances with his hands above shoulder level, guys. Can't talk to any of these fools over here. Four van. This game is not great about showing you where the thing that you're looking at is. That sentence didn't make sense. But like this four van guy? Okay. So the prompt to talk to him pops up from over here. And I, he does have the cursor around him, but you don't always notice that when you're just swiveling around trying to see what it's directing you towards. It'd be better if that cursor was like on the side of your screen so you knew which direction to look. But that's a small complaint overall. Oh, I, okay. You know what? <laughs> I don't need a drink right now. It says talk to him, but there's actually no talking that goes on during that interaction. Dancer! These Asari girls are so freaking hot, guys. I can't even stand it. Oh, yeah, let's throw her a tip. So what happens if I tip her enough times? <laughs> it's not even telling me, like, how much money I'm giving her. Okay. Well, now that I'm fully engorged... Let's just, uh, continue with the mission we were on. Door there, door there. We will try this one first. Don't act like you know. Just plan for the funeral normally. During the service, someone will want to set up a meeting. He's in on with whoever killed the family. Tear off a few of his fingers, you'll find out who did this to him. Right. Okay. We'll come back to him in a second. I want to see what's in this door. Uh, hello? Kind of get the sense that you guys are up to no good down here.
junk talk to Garrus? Okay, I think this is one of those squad mate conversations. Please don't glitch on me. Walking around in this place makes me sick. People still dying, the strong still exploiting the weak. Nothing I did here even made a dent in this. No. Sorry, Garrus. I mean, I think this place is a little bigger than you are, buddy. You did good in this area, okay? But you can't fix everything yourself. That's just not how it works. Oh, we've wrapped back around to the... Oh, this is this is serendipitous, because I wanted to come here anyway. We've wrapped back around to the commerce area. And I wanted to come here, and I wanted to buy... The heavy skin weave. Although, now that I'm here, the heavy weapon upgrade sounds really good too because that would let me fire more black holes guys sadly i just can't afford them both man that that sucks okay well i guess it doesn't matter right now since i can't really use any of them anyway i'll tell you what i will just buy this one for now this looks interesting because it's the most expensive and then i just have to remember that i got to come back for that other upgrade oh i did i get it automatically I think it just popped up and told me I have it automatically. That's badass. So we don't have to install that one. I don't think. <laughs> That's the impression I get from the UI here. Who knows for sure. Is there a place I can check that? If I check... What would that be under? Squad? Can I see my upgrades? I'm a level 5 engineer... You would think that there'd be a place where you can see that stuff, right? I don't know where else it would be, honestly. Okay, I guess I just take it on faith that I have it. <laughs> okay, Patriarch. Let's talk about things first. What do you know about Arya? A few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Arya arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body. Damn. And left me alive. Why, though? What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. So Arya is not somebody I should piss off is what I'm gathering from this story. I gotta tell you guys though, I feel like this guy looks pretty good compared to like the image in my head of when they said, like, what was left of him, I was like, oh, he must be, like, real tore up. I'm pretty sure Rex has a way more gnarly scar than anything I see on this guy. Rumor has it some people want you dead. Know anything about that? Oh, I can think of a few. I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. A few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. Someone who wanted to weaken Arya might come after me. They do it to get to her, you see. Not for me. I don't matter enough anymore to have enemies of my own. That's extremely sad. I feel for you. Why do they call you Patriarch? Looks like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an 
advisor and a trophy. It is kind of funny, honestly. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are ours now. All right, Patriarch. Well, it's been great getting to know you. You should get out of here now. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. Nope. You allow Arya to protect you like you're her pet? I thought you were a Krogan. Arya let me live. She gave me a position of honor as her advisor. She gave you a position of comfort as her trophy. Is that what you want? Or would you rather go down fighting? I wish she killed me the day she beat me. That would have been a glorious death. But perhaps it is not too late to die well. Perhaps these assassins will remember my name. Farewell, human. And thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was interesting. Handle Patriarch. Either force the Patriarch to go into hiding or find another way to deal with the threat from the... Yeah, okay. So, he's he's good now. We got him to go away. Let's go back and talk to Grizz. Oh, the Blue Suns are taking credit for Archangel's death. Did you guys catch that? What a bunch of jackasses. Oh, let's see. Where am I going? I'm just running in a circle here. There's the guy. Arya wants to speak with you, human. Something about Patriarch taking on a squad of Mercs by himself. Uh, did I screw up? <laughs> I heard my old friend Patriarch died. Went out in a blaze of glory. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Oh. Um... Let's stand up to her, guys. I gave him what you couldn't. The chance to die like a Krogan. That wasn't your decision to make. His life belonged to me. Patriarch was dead for centuries. You know that. How he was? I'd almost forgotten he was a Krogan. You gave him the death he deserved. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. Hey, all right. We can use any help we can get. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Awesome. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You should find a nice young man to keep you warm in the meantime. You look like you need to loosen up a little. Eh, sorry. I'm already spoken for. Wow. The she, uh... She saw the light, guys. We were able to reason with her. And now we have a cache to explore on some remote planet somewhere. That's cool. I gotta say, if the reward is, like, really far off on some derelict planet somewhere, it's gotta be pretty good because they're really making us work for it. Come on, let me in. Okay, so now that we're done with that... Let's consult ye old map. So we've been to Upper Afterlife, Lower Afterlife. I don't think we've been in the VIP area yet. Um Okay, there's shuttle to quarantine zone, way down at the bottom there. So I need to turn around and go this way. Because that's where Morden is supposed to be, and that's the main reason I'm here. We got two out of three recruits here so far, guys. We got Zaid and Garrus. Morden's the last one. 
Saving the best for last, maybe? Shut up, Prophet. Um, yeah, should be right down here. Although, do I want to go try and get into the VIP area? That door is probably locked, but you know what? While I'm here, guys, I just want to go see if I can do that now. Is it uh, straight in front of me? Oh, I wish I could sprint faster. She only wants to sprint sometimes, and she only does it for a really short period of time. What do you want? Let me in. I'd like to join the party. This really isn't your kind of place. Afterlife's main floor has lots of drinks and great music. Okay, that's not going to happen right now. <laughs> I don't know how we get in there, but maybe it'll come up during the quest for Morden. Who knows? Anything new here? Nope. in or out. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. Excuse me, sir. Is there a problem here? I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Talok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. I mean, she probably let me go in. I'm cool with her. There's a Solarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Let me in and I'll help? Hmm... I don't really see any reason to be friendly with this guy. He's not my boss. Take a good long look at me. Do I look like a looter? Uh, no. That's right. Now I'm going in. If I find looters, I'll kill them. Anybody gets in my way, I'll kill them too. I'll call the guards. They'll let you in with no trouble. Wait, you're stopping me but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. A quarantine zone for a plague that kills Turians. Why don't we ever go anywhere nice? Oh, shit. Uh... Wait, what other races... Is it all other races besides humans or just Turians? I mean, either way, we should not make him come. I don't want to get his ass killed over something like this. It's safer to stick with a squad who's immune to the plague. It's your call, Shepard. If you need me, I'm not going to let a cough keep me back. Oh, uh, but then again, maybe something really cool will happen if he comes, because this is kind of his area anyway. Oh, guys, I don't know what to do. Should I bring him? Fuck. I, I want to bring him, but I don't want him to die. And I don't know if, if, like, that's a thing that could happen. I don't know anything about how the life and death of these squad mates play out. Shit. I'm gonna risk it, guys. He said he's it's just a little cough, right? Like, come on, what's the big deal? Oh, but then again, even if it doesn't kill him, he could bring the plague out with him, and I could be responsible for a massive outbreak. <sighs> I don't think I should risk it. I think it's I think it's smarter to be smart. As much as I hate it. We'll leave Garrus behind for right now. All right, looters, let's go. Did they refill my heavy ammo? I only have one. How do I get that refilled, I wonder? I'm gonna have to figure that out at some point. 
Refined element zero. Don't mind if I do. Area looks clear. Don't shoot, they're clear to come in. Understood. Lead the way. I don't remember how to put my guns away. Nope. Oh, that's how I punch. Should be a way to put the guns away. Just can't remember how. Sorry, don't mind me, I'm just... Trying out my options, you know how it is. On my way. Be right there. Gotcha, gotcha. Careful! Okay, none of the buttons on this controller put the gun away. So... Let's just run around with it out for now. What if I were to... Select the one I already have selected? Nope. I gotta tell you guys, the ammo on this heavy pistol is so limited. It's gotta be pretty strong, right? Good luck in there. Blue Suns and Vorcha shooting anything that moves. Well, I'll shoot them too. Are you friendly? No, they're not. Preemptive headshot. Got him. Great control on its most basic. Pile the bodies in the street and burn them. Yep, that is Play Control 101. Batarian victim. Human. Should have guessed. Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> Why is he blaming me for this? Humans didn't create this plague. Lies drip from your mouth like the blood from my source. The proof is there for all to see. <laughs> your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <coughs> Yours and the wretched Vorcha. Okay, well, that doesn't really prove anything. Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <coughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your feigned pity is the final insult. Okay, you know what? The one time I try and be a little nice to one of these guys and he just... Throws it back in my face. I need to find Morden Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorcha burn Morden and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Damn it. Damn you. Can't. Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I just need information. Told you. I'm looking for somebody. Would you rather I let you choke on your own blood? I suppose not. What do you wish to know? Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Well, I mean, it could have been the Vorcha. I don't think they're, like, super scientifically inclined, but maybe that's my space racism kicking in. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. <laughs> A human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague... Why wouldn't it affect humans? Besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. 
scavengers. <laughs> Sorry, human. You may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. That's not really evidence, though. That's just circumstantial... Like... Uh, hearsay is not the right word. But it's, yeah, it, that's not evidence. Come on. I need to find Morden Solis. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. Conjecture, that's the word I was thinking of. <laughs> it's circumstantial conjecture. What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> Dude sounds pretty badass, not gonna lie. You were talking about Borcha earlier. Before the quarantine, the Blue Sons controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. The Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory. But as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. Okay. Um. How do I get that option back to send somebody to help him? Let's uh, fast forward plague? through this. And since humans are the only no. species not affected, I need to find he, I was afraid to go to him before. Here we go. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. When I find Morden, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short, but at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morden is. I will risk it, if you can reach me. I should go. Goodbye, human. Look at that, guys. We made a Batarian friend. See, if you just sit down and have a dialogue with somebody, you really can just kind of get through anything. Even, like, sworn enemies can come together and find mutual ground. It's a beautiful thing, really. Okay, I'm going to try to hack this thing here. Oh, I kind of suck at these historically. Let's try this. Uh, okay, well, it started me right on that one. That's good. Um, that's the next one. Last one. Right here. That one was easy. And, ooh, 5,000 credits. Sexy. Super duper sexy. We got a door here. We got another hallway down there. Okay, this is just a loot room. Plus one heavy weapon ammo. Okay, so that's not giving me, like, plus one to my carrying capacity. That's literally refilling my ammo. I gotcha. I gotcha. Shit. Damn it, how did I... Oh, is that it? Hold down X? No? Oh, it's a quick swap. I see what that's doing there. Okay. But I, I really want to know how to put this away. Be right there. <laughs> Here we go. Moving to cover. Easy enough. That's annoying. It's just, it feels weird walking around with your guns out the whole time. I know there's a way to do it. Somebody will tell me in the comments. And I thank you preemptively. I just... I've sort of got him hitting every button on this controller, and I can't figure it out. Oh, well. All right, we're going to bypass this door. Battery, doors, drill, doors, drill. Sort of a weird chicken leg thing. Chicken legs. Battery. Ooh, we got some plague victims in here. Tried to claw his way out. Can't say I wouldn't do the same. Yeah. What, were they locked in here? Why? Who would do that to them? Well, let's start with entry one. Bastard Silas in this room. Except we're infected. <laughs> Idiots can't tell the difference between the plague and a simple cough. Nothing to do now. But sit tight and wait for them to wise up. Good thing we brought a deck of cards. 
Okay. This is certainly going to end well. You can tell already. So is part of the plague that it puts you in like a state of denial, or was that guy really that dumb that he didn't think he had it already? Davis died last night. He's still talking to me though. Good to hear his voice. The company is nice. Nobody should die alone. Right. That's a little a little spooky. Tried to claw his way out. Can't say I wouldn't do the same. All right, well, R.I.P. Fellas. On my way. You bet. You all come with me. Next up is going to be heading down this hallway here, but I'm going to have to push that off until next time, guys. I got to take a break right here. I would love to turn the camera and look at you, but I am an idiot and I can't figure out how to put my gun away, so I can't do that. I also have to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Mass Effect 2 with Dude Law Couch. See you then. Okay, I'm bringing this recording back in just to say that literally as soon as I stopped, I figured out how to put my goddamn gun away. It's the back button. It's the back button. Got it. Awesome. Thanks. I look like an idiot. See ya.